Lewis Smith here of MMA UK post fight at one championships a new era in Tokyo joined by victorious Gary Tonan uh, Gary big win for you tonight uh, obviously a dominant performance where you stop your you stop your opponent in the first round with a TKO mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit through how that feels buddy yeah man uh, I was so excited to be able to uh, dominate in this fight I think as a fighter at least just you know for me th the way that I'm trained uh, the idea is to hit and not get hit to do damage and not take damage uh, and I think that's that's true in pretty much all forms of martial arts yeah. that that should be the the mainstay thought process um, and the only other thing that to the only other caveat to that is when you're you're fighting professionally to entertain I think I hit and didn't get hit I did damage and didn't take damage and I think I entertained uh, the crowd and I think that's what this is all about I, I don't really think you could really as a mixed martial artist or martial artist in general you could really hope for anything more than that yeah and you've beaten the opponent tonight who's got a lot of experience, much more experience than yourself. I mean, you keep winning these fights. What's, what's next for you now? What's, what sort of level do you think you're going to be at in comparison to the rest of the division? Man, uh, they've been giving me tougher and tougher fights. This was by far the toughest fight. I mentioned that multiple times. He's got real KO power. Um, he was stopping opponents. He was also submitting opponents, uh, and he's experienced. He's, he's like an 8-5 fighter. I mean, that's, a, that's a long record. I mean, compared to me, who has only had, previous to this fight, three fights, now four. Um... I mean that was that was a tough challenge to put ahead of me, and uh, I think I dealt with it uh, really well. Um, I'm looking forward to them stepping that up even even more. Yeah. Um, I, the way I see it, there's it's only going to be so long before they're going to have to put me in uh, to a title fight. I, I don't really think they're going to have any other options as far as uh, tougher opponents, and I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, do I think it's going to happen next fight? I don't know. They haven't had the conversation with me yet. I can't say for sure. Um, you know, but I know the future holds a title for sure at some yeah. point. And obviously your opponent, as you said, he's, he's known for having knockout power, uh, known for good strikes. But once you go up to the mat today, it, it was just, it was dominance from there. I mean, is that something you, you knew was going to be the case coming into this one? I knew this fight that I wanted to dominate the opponent to the best of my ability. Yeah. I didn't necessarily know for sure I was going to TKO. I thought maybe I would go for a submission. Uh, but about halfway through, I decided, no, I wanted the TKO. Um, like I, initially I was just trying to back him up towards the fence when he made that first offensive movement he did a, he chose a kick he chose a low kick um, it's one of the best times to try to take somebody down and shoot box uh, it was too good to, to uh, ignore the opportunity um, so my body and just bad a habit I didn't even I didn't make a decision my body just did it you know we trained like that uh, that kick flew and I immediately went into the takedown and when I put him down I said he ain't getting back up I'm not letting him back up I'm gonna do damage until this fight is over the only way that he was gonna get out was if that bell rang and the round was over and I was trying my absolute best to make sure that he did not see the end of that that first round yeah. and obviously you were successful in that yes, an amazing sir. performance I mean can you just speak a little bit last before we let you go um, yeah. and we've done a lot of interviews now so, so we won't keep it too long but just about coming over to Tokyo the, f the first fight the first fight these guys are on in Japan What's it been like being over here and being a part of this massive show? Yeah, guys, this was an amazing show in Tokyo. Uh, it was a pleasure to be here in front of a Japanese audience. I've been meaning to get out of here for so long, and it was so awesome that uh, to my, my first opportunity to compete out here was in front of this one championship audience that's watching so many other amazing mixed martial artists. Uh, I'm so happy to be a small piece of that uh, that amazing piece of entertainment that everybody's watching tonight. Uh, I've been doing so many interviews, I haven't got <laughs> to watch probably like the last four fights, so uh, I'm only going to catch the end of it, but I I'm very excited to see that. Um, and dude, man, Japan, I I'm going to write something about this in the future. It is just mind-blowing the type of culture that they have out here. Uh, I highly recommend that if you ever have the opportunity to come out to Japan, you come out to Japan and experience this culture. It is a, a, a group of people like you just you just will, won't find anywhere else. I, I've, I've traveled to a lot of places. I, I've never seen it. And, uh, on that note, then, are you going to be celebrating tonight? Oh, yeah. Very excited. Uh, unfortunately, I leave very early tomorrow. Yeah. So tonight will be my only night to really, like, you know, blow off some steam yeah. in Japan. Uh, I didn't really get to experience a lot of different types of food because I was watching my diet leading yeah. up to the fight. Didn't really get to go out and party or anything. So we're going to try to make the most of it tonight. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to watch the rest of the card first, though. As much as I'd love to celebrate the victory, uh, I really want to see these fights. Yeah. So, Well, pumped. Gary, an amazing performance for you. Can't wait to see what's in store for you in the future. And uh, enjoy your victory.